Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, my name is Invin and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on the New World Early Game Main Quest Essentials and by that I mean all of the items and gathering materials that you're going to need in order to complete all of the main story quests and I'm going to be doing all the way up to Amrin Temple so when you get to around level 24, 25 you hit that first expedition based quest I'm going to cover all of that early game stage of the leveling here and I'm going to go over everything that you'll need to gather along the weight in order to do these quests smoothly and successfully so that your early game main questing can be as smooth lined as possible. Now I am just going to go over the main quest today but if you guys would like to see me do some secondary or side quests at another point then please let me know in the comments down below and if you would like to see me continue this series of videos into the mid and the late game then let me know that down below as well as that's something that I could definitely work on for you guys right here. So first of all starting off with the first thing that you're going to want to do this is as soon as you get onto the beach you're going to want to gather four flint and four green wood as this is what you are going to need in order to craft your first skinning knife which is part of the main quest now you can do this at any point when you're fighting the first mobs the drowned mobs on the beach there that it asks you to kill or indeed at any point up until this quest or indeed when the quest asks you to itself but obviously as you're going around you may as well pick these things up and obviously getting more than four of each can't hurt as well so if you do gather a few extra bits as you go in for the extra xp or whatever absolutely fine the second thing is going to be when you're on the way to the main settlement, so wherever you actually spawn, you know, Everfall, Monarch's Bluff, First Light or Windswood, when you are going to your main settlement from the beach, you need to grab 16 raw hide, and this can be obtained from wolves or boars, which you're going to be skinning for food anyway, so it's a bonus to be able to get a little bit extra food going there, as well as getting this raw hide, so you need 16 raw hide. 40 stone which can be gathered from any of the boulders along the pathway but you will need a pickaxe for this which you will have got from the main quest and 40 green wood which can be obtained from bushes or any young tree you can pick up 40 green wood so 40 green wood 40 stone and 16 raw hide for the quests that you will need to complete once you get to the settlement itself now when you do actually reach the settlement you will get a quest which gives you a heavy satchel this heavy satchel contains iron ore what you need to do is smelt all of this iron iron ore in the forge into iron ingots and with this iron ingots it will ask you to make a iron longsword this will leave you some spare iron ingots so what I personally like to do is then craft myself an iron tool or two you know maybe a pickaxe a logging axe something along those lines or indeed you can craft better armor or weapons particularly if you haven't got a second weapon that you want to use yet or indeed a first weapon that you want to use you can use some of this iron to craft that if it's applicable for your weapon and then you can go ahead and craft that there so you can start leveling up the weapon mastery towards it if you want to or indeed get some armor going if you'd like to do that as well now once you hit around about level 13 just by going through the main story a couple of side missions thrown in there you will get to the main story quest which is called no confidence stew and for this you will need briar branches rabbit and turkey meat in order to make now you need around three briar branches so you can get these by just gathering the briar next to water it's the thorny looking bushes that are there and then you can just skin a couple of rabbits and a couple of turkeys as you're going around i imagine most of you will be doing this anyway like me just to stockpile on food early doors so you'll probably have these materials but just to make you aware you will need that one by the time you get to around level 10 start thinking about it make sure you go out your way to grab some briar if you don't pass any just so that you've got that in your inventory ready for the quest then following on from this around level 13 to 15 ish you will get the Windsward or Everfall First Light or Monarch's Bluff Envoy quest so it's called some whichever settlement you're starting that's the title of it and then followed by the word Envoy and this quest requires you to make 50 stone blocks now 50 stone blocks requires 200 stone in order to gather so you're going to want to make sure that you're gathering this pretty much from the point where you complete the no confidence shoe quest start to gather up 200 stone as this can take quite a while as long as you gather it as you go in though you'll be absolutely fine and worst comes to worst if you do if the quest creeps up on you you haven't gathered any before this quest 200 stone isn't the end of the world but you do need to get that and that's how much you'll need for 50 stone blocks now the main story quest the weakness of ego will require you to have three water three petal cap and three river crest stem in your inventory water can be obtained from wells in the towns or if you're in Windsward, the river that runs through the middle or any other natural water source such as the lakes or the rivers that you 
you'll see around the land of Eternum, or indeed can be bought off the auction house. Petal caps are obtained from harvesting the Frondon petal cap plant, which can be found around Windsward. There's lots of them around Windsward, particularly in near the paths, which you'll see just as you're running around anyway. It's this green, sort of spiky looking plant. You can go over and gather that, and you'll need a sickle to gather it, which again you should have by this point from the main quest. And if you've maybe even got an iron one by now, you gather it from there, and that will give you the petal cap plant. And finally, the river crest that you need to get. Rivercrest stem can be obtained by gathering the rivercrest which is found next to river or natural water caps and all of these again can also be bought from the auction house or the marketplace should you wish to do so. Also the same quest this weakness of the ego quest will then ask you to craft three corruption tinctures which can be done at the arcane repository in town. Now if you're in Windsor this is next to where the engineering station is but it's different for each town if you press M go in and scroll into the settlement you're in on the map and hover over the icons it's the one that's like a triangle with a circle in the middle and it'll be called arcane repository you go there and you can craft these corruption tinctures with the ingredients that i mentioned before now if you're wanting to speed run this quest or do it in a smooth orderly fashion it asks you to go and speak to the npc so you want to have essentially six water six petal caps and six river crest stem because you want to make three of the corruption tinctures before you go and have three of the, each of the raw materials on you for the quest as if you do this it will just cycle through it and pretend you've done it and then crafted it if you don't do that you'll have to get all of the raw materials like i mentioned before the three of each then take it back to a settlement craft the corruption tinctures and then come back to the npc so i like to have the corruption tinctures on me as well as the raw ingredients just for streamlined you know more successful questing but it's up to you what you prefer to do because it will save you a bit of time and money by not doing that so either way it's up to you what you do but that will be the quickest way to do it is by having three corruption tinctures and then three water three petal cap and three river crest stem on you in your bag ready to go for the weakness of the ego quest you want to have these in your inventory basically from when you go to the hermit for the final time in completing the quest of the first component this quest will be completed at the hermit and then the weakness of the ego quest will be picked up shortly after that point so as soon as you've completed the first component start gathering your materials and tinctures so that you've got them ready and in your inventory for when that quest does crop itself up now the next main story quest you'll get is called Nature's Gifts which will be shortly after the previous quest and this will be requiring you to get 5 silver ingots either through mining the silver and then crafting it in the smelter into ingots or indeed buying them from the marketplace again but you must keep them on you for this point as it will be required to craft your first level Azoth staff when you get to that point so make sure you've got them on you from the point where you complete weakness of the ego as it will be shortly after this quest and by this point you're pretty much on the Amrine Temple section of the main quest, obviously with a few side quests in there for leveling, a few faction quests in there for leveling also, and maybe even some PvP, who knows, gathering, crafting, whatever else you want to do, but you'll pretty much be at the point of the Amrine Temple quest for this. Make sure you do get to level 23 before you do this, as that will allow you to get the Bones for Barkamedes side quest, which you can find from Barkamedes, who's the little dog who sits just outside the entrance for the Amrine Temple. You can go over, you can talk to him, you can pet him, and he will, of course, give you the quest for this and these will be a 4500 xp quest when you turn it in so what you have to do is go into the amarine temple kill the ogre looking mobs they will drop loot bags which contain bones so this should be fairly easy to spot if you're anything like me as soon as you see loot bags you get excited and run towards them so they should be fairly easy to collect as you are going along you want to pick those up and by the end of the amarine temple expedition run you should have three of those bones so just keep an eye out to make sure you are picking them up from each of those ogres you can hand those into back Archimedes at the end of the quest and he will give you 4,500 XP which is a really big amount of XP particularly early doors and this is a repeatable quest as well which means you can go back and do this multiple times should you be running Amrine Temple more than once if you'd like to go for gear and stuff or whatever else and it's a great thing to do because you'll get gear from doing the temple you'll get XP from killing the mobs inside and then of course you will get the XP from the bones for Archimedes quest at the end of it as well so it's a really really good thing to have on there as well now like I said there these are just kind of for the main story quest it's main story quest only up until around that level 24 25 section if you would like me to continue and go into sort of the mid game when you move into brightwood and weaver's fen then let me know in the comments below as that is certainly something i could work on for you guys if you would find it useful i just assume that because the launch is coming up very very shortly with just only 10 days to go at the time of recording now which is amazing 
you guys will probably find this useful or if indeed if you're watching it as the launch happens you'll find it useful as you're going through those early game quests i would just like to shout out to the guys at new world database and new world fans i will have both the links to their websites in the description i'm not affiliated with either of them but i did use their websites to double check my facts and figures here because i have the gameplay as you guys have seen in the background but i just wanted to make sure that it kind of holds consistent across all of the starting zones etc so i did use some of their resources to back up my information as well so if you'd like to check them out their links will be in the description too other than that if you have found today's video useful and informative please do drop me a like on the video down below as it really does help me and the channel out massively if you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more new world content then please do hit the subscribe button down below with the notification bell on as we've got some absolutely cracking videos coming up for you guys some really good informative stuff just ahead of launch and going into launch there as well so make sure you don't miss out on any of those if you would like to join the discord community the link for that will be in the description and in the comments of today's video we've got over 500 amazing people in there now and it's great we've got so much conversations going on about everything to do with new world so if you would like to be involved join through one of those links there and of course if you'd like to support me directly as a creator here on youtube the membership option is available you can click the join button just under today's video and that will show the options that we have available for that as well other than that as always thank you very much for watching guys take care and peace <laughs>